Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. <laughs> Go online. Hmm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Fiance. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> it's reality, yes. Let's love. Are we rolling? Yeah. Now we are. Now we are. Now the show's on. This is it. I'm drinking coffee like a little coffee clutch. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Doesn't this look cute? Welcome to Reality Gaze. If you're watching on the Intimate Portrait, you're seeing Poodle <laughs> hold his very gay fiesta wear coffee cup. Although I, I love like fiesta wear. I do too. Y'all, I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, no. If We're you're already, over 30, invest in some good, chi- not China, some good mugs. Good plates. I agree. I good, agree. Because they will, they will break. It's okay. Invest I in still have stuff. all the ones that I have from 10 years ago. Not one's broken. That's a lie. No. Well, they're ugly too, so. I'm just saying, I, I don't think I don't manhandle my dishware like you do. You put, what are you doing? Are you washing dishes? And then you start thinking about a dick, and then you're just going <laughs> like this, and then, oh, <laughs> ceramic <laughs> broke. <laughs> And all of, a kid, all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm holding it like this, and all of a sudden, I go, clink, and it just, it just breaks, and I go, oh. oh if Poodle doesn't own a wine glass. He can't own a wine I, glass. I have broken so many wine glasses. <laughs> Why is this working? And then you usually cut yourself. I just cut myself on a mug. <laughs> I'm telling you. The day before our Sunday live show, it, br- I, it brutalized me. I, <gasps> I broke it, and I was picking it up, and it went, <sighs> And cut me. Thank you again to our sister. A week ago today, we had a day that changed our life, hey. and we did a live show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I we appreciate. I it. had so much fun last it Sunday. It took us like um, it took me four days to recover. As from my it. therapist said, I was told telling him about it, and he said that probably takes like several days just to readjust to all that. And I well, said it did. It was such a great. But the energy of everybody, and it was so just exciting. We're going to have to get used to it. It's just not yeah. something we're used to. Um, it's like taking it, an eight-inch dick. Yeah, you, you can't. Start to... And you can't take in an eight-inch dick every day. No. <laughs> so I can't be that excited. every Y'all, but I didn't sleep for like two days after because I was just like, ah! I was just so excited. Um, I'm going to have to calm down for New York and Chicago. Otherwise, I'm going to have a yeah, lot we need, of Yeah, we need, we need to talk about your energy. My energy was fine. <laughs> It's a little manic. <laughs> if you're on the intimate portrait, you're sitting right Wait, here with us on the you couch. Looked, you would look over me like this. <laughs> and this bitch didn't know what was next. Oh, God. I didn't look. You made the, you made the font very small. I and made I it. Could, really- and I could not read it. It literally was like this. You wanted me to. And we were backstage. <laughs> and there was low lip. And, and I didn't want to say anything because of my pride. But I looked at it. I went. Yeah, okay, that's good. And you I did. I, you, I was telling you about things. You're like, yeah, I see it all. I couldn't read it at all. <laughs> it was still fun. It we're was gonna, fun. We're gonna prop things up, and I like the optometrist font. <laughs> I guess we'll have to do next. <laughs> and this one's had LASIK, and he's and he's complaining about it. Just to, you just I, have to squint a little bit. Yeah, uh, you couldn't read it either. You even said so. You want to make it bigger next time. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, we had a ball. We can't wait. Uh, we keep saying, but we're, um, we were, things were starting to get finalized in parts of the country, and then a lot of our venues are owned by Live Nation, and as we know with the Travis Scott incident, Live Nation's been a little, yep. they're, all of their, their companies, so again, are so horrible what happened to us people, yep. but so a little bit of a, it's not on us. We're just kind of waiting for things I to I promise get back to if anyone's getting trampled at our show, we will stop the show. We will stop the show. <laughs> I promise. I, I can't believe I have to promise that. I don't think it's going to happen, um, but yeah. 
But yeah. That is probably a very off. That's a very. That's a bad joke in poor taste. Too soon. I- <laughs> Too soon. Just you know, kidding. as soon as I was saying it, you know, Christina, like, this, if you watch Christina, this, and we you can go, take that. Oh, just take it out. <laughs> I'm going to send it a live show, and it'll it's going to be so bad. It's going to be so bad. But y'all, we couldn't hear them. It was great. It was great. We already rehashed it. We're not going to rehash it. But um, we were so so we loved. Did we say what show we're on? This is not a day fiance. <laughs> this is the other way. Season three, episode thirteen. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Didn't this feel like a finale on some couples to you? It's, yeah. It, it yes. was weird. It, it felt, felt like, like a finale, false finale. It, it felt like a finale for Victor and Ellie. Victor and Ellie. And then I thought for Ari and Binium, but then we see next week. <sighs> but even with them, it was like the music swelled. And so I thought, are we done with these people? What do you think? Is there one more episode or two more? My gut's telling me two. I don't know. But we're gonna could, get. I we're would, gonna get two great. weddings next week. That's true. Possibly three. I'm gonna probably cry if Jenny and Submit mind. get married. D- are you know what? We're saving that. <laughs> we're teasing that. Are Jenny and Submit gonna get married? We're teasing if what we. But think we're about gonna that. get Stephen and Alina getting married. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm of course they're gonna get married. Mm-hmm. Alina's just bound to determine that it's she's going to get married or bust. I figured out Alina. I think this episode, I got some things clicked for me. I went, oh, okay. I figured it out from episode one. No, but some just some more kind of like, we'll see. I'm teasing people. Well, I'm teasing them. I guess it's it takes, like I'm showing them it my takes leg. Some of us, and I'm teasing them. Ooh, gross. Ooh. It takes some of us longer to process. Ooh, yeah. Uh huh. Um, um. Okay, y'all. First off. Tiger King. <laughs> um, we on season two. I know we've been talking about that we're going to do it. Um, we're not doing it. Then we watched it. It's not good. It's not that it's. It's not that the show itself is terrible. It kind of is. It's a. It's a mess. I think I would describe it's it as actually a mess. not. Yeah, it's not that it's not good. It's just a mess. There's there's interesting information that comes out, and you're like, oh my gosh, but it's just nothing. There's no suspense. There's no. It's not the same. I'm gonna watch all of it because I will. But I'll watch it on a plane. I want to. One of the reasons we're not doing it, and I think it's because it's more about the reaction to the show than yeah. what actually happened. Yes. Um, it's kind of, and it's also a lot of it is very predictable of. These people that were on the show became really famous, and guess what? They just got more terrible. And also, there's a lot of January 6th Trumper shit, and I'm just I don't want to talk in, about that. I'm not interested. And yeah. then... I'm and not then interested in a, seeing those people at that rally. A, I don't want to see those people. No, and it's this whole thing about his brother, and then this other guy who owns... Like, this other guy who owns Tigers up in, like, Indiana, who we've never met before. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't care about this guy. So, what, what we'll tell you, we're not going to do it. If you'd said, I'm going to join Reality Guys Patreon because yeah, I love the Patreon. Tiger King. If you joined, let us know let and us we'll know. refund your money. We'll refund your money. Gladly. Refund your $5. Gladly. Um, if you had just decided that you want an extra $5 this month, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I will say. A, if you're already a member of our Patreon, I'm saying. If you're not listening to the single life at the five dollar tier. Oh, it's You're totally doing worth it. it. Wrong because that show is good, y'all. I know these people are terrible. Season two, Attack of the Trolls. Y'all, I have to say, this week it's on Discovery Plus right now, and it will come out on the free feed whenever it probably gets like launched four on to six months. Can we just talk a little bit about how beautiful and horrible Natalie is at dating? <laughs> Y'all, she went on a first a blind with a date. human fedora, <laughs> with a walking fedora, and literally within the first, with the first thirty seconds, he was like, "So I want uh, to be married with child." What? That's what I want. I, I don't. I, I I will not have drinking jeopardize health of child. Yeah, this guy, y'all. This guy was. He's, he's like, let me drink my Red Bull vodka. He was having a Red Bull vodka when he was over the age of thirty, and of course, she failed. was horrified. But when she said, literally, I want to have children, and it was, and of course the guy's like, I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at I your eyes. I got lost in your eyes. Because he just wants and to bang went, a European woman. And she goes, oh, oh, really? Oh, is she like, da-? y'all, it's, it's good. Uh, and there's, there's. It's really good. 
boy, it, the the cringiest is definitely Stephanie for me. Actually, no, yeah. that's not true. I get physically ill watching Jesse and Jennifer. Yeah, no, for, they're kind of gross. You can skip them if you want. Uh, we're going to we're going to skipping about them. Big Pred. And we're obviously. not talking about yeah, we're uh, not talking about Debbie Ed. is a quite an interesting watch. Oh my god, y'all. Hard, like you said, hard and to show. I think I'll get. I think I'm going to be interested to see what Sinjin does too. I think I am too. Um, I think that's it, right? We're forgetting about it anyway. Yeah, it's good. I'm just saying, but that's we're going to troll these motherfuckers. Just know we are. that we are. Anything else, real quick? Uh, selling Sunset next week. We're doing the whole thing. If you, <laughs> it's so good. That's at the five dollar level. If you've been waiting for to see what happened after Christine's black wedding, see, uh, somebody one of the, somebody said like on Twitter. On Twitter, they t- tweeted me, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm not interested." And I'm like. Have you no drama in your life, oh. or, or is your life just so dramatic that that is nothing after that wedding? I and also what happened at the end for With her, her and Justin Hartley? Yes, they're broken up. Yeah, oh, it's gonna yeah. be good. Um, and there there are people, new people are joining. Amanza is back. Of course, Davina's there, even though she's joined Douglas Elliman. But of course, Davina the evil is is around. It's gonna um, be good. I'm I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I too. really and I think one of the brothers, one of the little twins, uh, is moving to Orange County to do his own so. thing. And he's open I'm sure they'll do a selling Orange County. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Selling O C. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Is he ma- s- getting married now, one of them too? No, no, no. We always thought the brothers fucked. <laughs> yes. It was weird. It was we, weird. We always thought they took it's, baths together. Yeah, it, it was weird. <laughs> Just their own little petite, little yeah. tiny bathtub, just rubbing each other's hairy backs. Splish, splash, I was taking a bio. <laughs> I, they, both of them creep me out. I'm just skeeved out every time they're on. There is something creepy about yeah. them. Yeah. And they're All like right. muscly and they're, you can just tell. This is getting weird. I know. Too many details. Um, anyway. Also, that's I wanna, it. I, wanna, I hope no. No. I never I know. Can't, le- just I let me do know. this. <laughs> Just, just, just like my mother said, Jay Bird, let me do this. Oh, <laughs> um, by Curious for November, we just put out our Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. It was a pretty phenomenal episode. It was if phenomenal. I do say so myself. It is phenomenal. Um, you guys have really liked that. I have. I have left the door open for another episode now. Mainly because I yelled at him and demanded um, I don't know if it'll happen in in December or not. I'm, I'm glad that we have three new choices, and yeah. we're going to go forward. We are, but, but for November, these are the choices that are yes. available but for my heroes. But so. if it happens and y'all can ruin it, let us know, and we'll see what we can do. Um... The choices that are for November are Kendra Sells Hollywood. Kendra, um, Ken, Kendra Wilkinson, that's on Discovery Plus. Y'all remember Kendra Will? This is a throwback. She was one of the girls next door. Yes. She was the girl next door. No, there were others. But I mean, she was kind of the famous <laughs> one. Holly Madison. I never watched that show. It was but another I'd, one. I had friends that were loved that show. Um, Susan loved that show, didn't she? Yeah, I have a ta- feeling. Tasha. Yes, Tasha, Tasha did. loved it. Um, so, also... This, I was very excited. There's a show called Love Never Lies. Yes. That just finished its season. It is a Spanish language show. But there's subtitles. Yes, there's subtitles. Not Don't get the dubbed ones. If you watch the trailer, it's dubbed and it's terrible. But y'all, the whole premise of this show is these, it's like Love Island meets a little bit of Too Hot to Handle. But basically these people... Go to this like beautiful villa, like, and they're all taken through children. a lie detector test, and there's this lie detector test, and it gets in their eyes. But it, it looks, their... it looks at big y'all because we have involuntary eye movements right. that we don't even know we can't control that tell us if we're lying, and they ask them <laughs> questions like, "Are you happy with your spouse?" And of course, is there there's anything a, you're keeping from them. There's a couple of queens who one was wearing shoulder pads, and yes. it looked like the other was wearing a dress backwards. Yes, there's, um, <laughs> there's like. Seven couples, but then also in the middle of the thing, like people go on dates with their exes, Ooh! and they're seeing their. Ex- it looks it's, so good. It's gonna be trashy. The other one that I'm trying to sell it's the you one guys I is do. HBO Max. Uh, the Twelve Dates of Christmas. Oh, Twelve Dates um, of Christmas. Same production company as F Boy Island. Yes. Um, this show was on last season. Uh, this season it is a guy, a, a heterosexual guy, straight guy. 
the mid daters, uh, a lesbian woman and a gay guy. Mm hmm. Um, those are the main, I think they call those main cast or lead cast uh -huh. or something. Lead, and they date 12 other people. They're Santa's helpers. Yeah. And it, the show, I will say, I watched the first episode. The show tries really hard to make it very Christmas themed. Yes. <laughs> Almost to a point where I'm like, did that woman need to be dressed as an elf on the shelf? Yes. And need to be there waiting yes, for him in the it's morning? Christmas. It's too, it was too much for me. It is kind of trashy and also absurd and weird. We so, feel like it could be good. Hopefully it's not a labor of love. We're not doing the whole thing. That's no, the that's thing. That's true. I know. Yeah. But I'm going to put trailers for all these it'll, you'll be sent We've to seen you a bit Patreon. of it. It was good. It was good. I don't know if it's like good. It was fun. I mean, it was fun. It was good to make fun of. Although we were saying the most the guy with the most charisma is the straight guy named Danny who is he was, huge. He's really hot. And the lesbian Eh, she's okay. The other crazy lesbians who are dating her, though, are a different story. It's true. <laughs> and the gay guy, he's like bland potatoes. But there are he more is. interesting daters. Uh, I'm like, how do you... To, to find a gay guy who isn't, like, extra, what did you have to do? Well, they always, with these dating shows, they always pick, like, the gay guy who they think will fit into, like, middle America. And then like that, well, that seems kind of like kind of like just middle of the road, and then they always boring. Then they, they decorate them with all these gay ornaments. <laughs> there's the sassy gay. There's the polyamorous gay. There's the gay who doesn't wear deodorant. What am there's I? The bear, bitch gay. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue, but I cannot. <laughs> there's always that one too. Anyway, you'll get that in your Patreon. So I agree. That's it. Let's do the show. Let's do the show. Y'all. I shouldn't have had that cup of coffee. It's Steven, Steven with, with a V. v not Steven, Steven with a P. Because Steven, Steven with a v, v is getting married. Is getting married. Not for lack of trying. Not, <laughs> not, not for that, like trying not to. <laughs> yes. Again, he's not mastered this as Submit has. No. We're going to talk he's, about later. He is giving the, I made a terrible mistake face. Yes, um, he is. Um, Y'all, Steve and Alina are going to do their marriage papers together. Um, I can't get comfortable. And Sorry. it's a Sunday. What's new? <laughs> water, <laughs> water is wet. <laughs> Y'all come at me if you can't sit. I this can't coffee sit makes you place. crazy, and you have not had sex in a long. I haven't had sex. You've got and it. like, I think it's been like twelve days. Yeah, yeah. You can see my eyeballs are going to yeah, go. Yeah, you got to get this taken care of tonight. It's like, it's like Deontay's eyes. Just put, like I said earlier, <clears throat> put your head out your window and make your call. <laughs> <laughs> I call the poodle. Anyway. So they are getting their documents together. Mm -hmm. The tourist visa expires in three weeks. They're going to the marriage office and... And Steven says, does my hair look okay? My hair look okay. And she's like, yes, it yes, looks it's fine. fine. It's fine, Steven. Boy, at this point, I think she's just saying, I gotta get married. I gotta fucking get married. Well, I don't care how I'm going to do it. I don't really care if this motherfucker wants to do it. I mean, not to sound like someone's aunt with red hair and like a... A, a pudgy nose, Aunt Beth or Bev or whatever on... I thought you were describing yourself. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ding, ding, ding. But not to be a Bev. For, this is dating back to Melanie and DeVar on Naughty Day. Right, her sister was Bev, right, yeah. Beverly? Um, but I'm like, wait. Does Alina just want to marry American so she can eventually like go to the U.S.? Because I can't... Figure I, out. I, I don't, don't think, think she so. does. I don't think she does, but I'm like, why? He what is, about Steven? He is the Prince Charming that she never ordered, but he was the first one to ask. I think there is a bit of that. I also think that, you know, well, this is. It'll make a good starter marriage for her. You know what I think? And this is kind of what I figured out in this. When, and I realized when Alina was talking to her mother later, but I went, y'all. Alina is an Enneagram four. <laughs> yeah, that's why I know her. When she picked out her wedding dress, I went, "Oh, okay." I kind of love it. I love it. I, I kind of love it. I love it, but I went, "Oh, she always has to be different. She always has to be the weird. She always has to do something uh, surprising." Kind of, but at the same time, I think she has that in her. She's extremely traditional. Exactly. Um, 
She doesn't want to be I think, a basic Russian I think she girl. feels like for, probably for where she grew up, she's a rebel. And Steven is not the normal choice. No, he's a misfit. Yeah. Why am I such a misfit? Why don't I fit in? That's from the Rudolph the Rain Red Nosed Ranger Christmas special, if, also known as a gay allegory. allegory. We've ruined that. If you want to remember what episode we completely ruined, someone Rudolph, will scream about it. Someone will tag us or put or tweet it. But it was quite a while ago, like a year. It was a diatribe. Of, we went on for twenty minutes about how Rudolph is. We gay. diagrammed it. We're not going to do it again. No, it was Never. the lesson was was given. <laughs> <laughs> now take it. <laughs> there were a lot of s- a Christmas specials that season mm. that I wanted to talk about because I was you were on some a type kit. of nostalgia. You were watch. I think we were shut in because of COVID, so you were watching oh, a lot of yeah. stuff. And I and I, they were they were they were making me very uneasy. Yeah, and I was upbraided by a lot of them. Oh um, goodness! Oh good. So so um. Steven starts talking about, you know, it's just this huge like leap of faith to getting married, and and it's all about love is just about being dumb and going for it. And I went, no, that's not what love's about. And y'all, that's what lust is about. As I've said before, he won't stop fucking touching her, and it hey, well, makes she even me, takes his hand and puts it down. It at makes one time. me crazy. It's crazy. I want to reach into my tele- television and just like. Knock his hand, his like spindly fingers. Did you away. almost say Teletubby? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I would have reached into my Teletubby and go, goody, 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 go. <laughs> but yeah, so and Steven, they're dry. He's like, I kind of pushed it the last minute, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and she says, Well, I was ready earlier than you. I've been ready for about four ready. months now. Uh, or they've been, she's been ready since week. Think she after we, her mom when she left, got there. Well, yes, but after her mom left and she kind of he kind of convinced her. Mm. She's been ready since then. She has, and he's been of course delaying. So they're meeting with the. Oh, by the way, he's of course eating something. He's eating a fucking pear. He's eating a pear in the car. And they get there to the meeting and they're having the meeting. They're going through all the papers and it's like, oh, do we have this? Do we have that? Do we have this? And Steven's like, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Can I take my jacket off? <laughs> and like reprimanding a child because She's honestly, like, no, take, my your mother did, on. Yeah, you just said that like Mother Poodle because mm-hmm. I'm sure your mother did. And my mother, I y'all, I always wanted to like take off my jacket or this, and my mother would always say, "This is not the place to do that." <laughs> That's it. That she's like, you take your bleach. Were you always on. hot? Yes. And you wanted to remove your sweatshirt as a cat child. Mom was like, don't you do that. <laughs> and so Alina don't just. Don't you know where we are? Alina, we're, in a, we're in a Turkish courthouse. In a Turkish. And Alina Jay grabs Bird. his head and she's like, just keep it on. <laughs> Y'all, she's already mothering him. She's going to have to do that the rest his of their time whole, together. Whole, whole life. Question How long do you think. I, I've said before, of course she's going to marry him. Um, how long do you think they'll stay together? Uh, three years. I'm giving it less than that. Um, I'm giving it 18 months. Okay. Who's going to be the one to leave? Alina. I think Steven. Really? Because she has this kind of like... There is this, like, she wants to be a rebel, but there's, like, this conservative. And, but well, I, I would say he didn't want to leave because he would not want the divorce for him. I think he'll cheat on her. Oh, but I mean, but I'm saying for him, getting divorced is the worst possible thing. But I, well, I guess she'll leave, but I think she'll leave because he's because cheated Because he cheated. Yes. That, that I think, I agree. But I think she will have to be the one to bring up divorce. Yes. Yep, probably, yeah. Good luck, kids. <laughs> Good luck to you. As the guy in the Turkish courthouse said, oh, I can see love in your eyes. Boy, these fuckers. I'm like, well, apparently. Terrible yeah. judge of character. Again, it goes, you know, because I have several Ma- Mormon friends that got married really quickly. And, and we've even seen on the show, y'all, they get married quickly because they want to fuck. They want to fuck. They want to so, ride that dick. They want to ride that dick. So basically, y'all, they, the, the guy says, okay, you can get married Wednesday. And that's in two days. Two days. And y'all, Stephen goes, <laughs> two days, uh, that's really fast. <laughs> and then, um, 
they're the kind of like, wow, two days is not a lot to plan a wedding. And I went, what do you need to plan? Yeah. Like, your, your families aren't coming. You're not going to get flowers. You don't even have to pick a venue. You're you gonna don't go even have to have a cake. At the, like, you don't have to have any of this. She wants a dress. Okay, you can go get a wedding dress. And they're not getting married at the courthouse. They're getting married at an outside venue. Oh, that's true. But this, obviously, it's going to have to be fast. They've hired a, a, a planner, Elena. So they're, they're dress shopping. And she tries on that first dress, uh-huh. that white dress. And I'm like, no. It was with that too, veil. It was too much with a veil. That long veil. No. 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 They just and tried I, on the second I will one. say that, and they said, this is actually a Turkish dress for the night before the wedding. She's like, I like it. And it's pretty. It was like red. You know, on anyone else, and not knowing Elena, who's not Elena, Alina, the way we the, we do, I would think it'd be too much. But I think she's and Stephen's gonna fucking love it because it's weird. Because it's weird. I like when brides. It's fine when you wear white, but I also love it when brides don't wear white. Yeah, like black, like Christine Quinn, aspiring drag queen. <laughs> She is an aspiring drag queen. My favorite person from that show. What color would you wear if you got married? What color? Like a dress. Like, not <laughs> if you weren't a, you weren't gonna wear. Tux if I wasn't a, a man. Yes. If you were. What a, color a dress would I wear? If you were a real life woman, like you want to be. Well, I don't think the universe would ever allow me to wear white. No. <laughs> You're like, why does it, it would keep just burning my burn skin? off my clothing? Burn off my skin. Um. That's a good question. I I think I'd wear black. Oh, black? I yeah, I love a good black wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Black wedding. I could see you wearing red too. What about you? Um I think I I'd be, you know, cuz a lot of I had a friend who got married who was Indian. I guess at Indian cult they wear red a lot, at least mm-hmm. in her, And I did enjoy the red. I think With red, your hair? But probably not with my hair. But um, you just I also, change it. I also once saw a bride. Forget to dye it one week. Who wore? Um, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know if I died. Uh, who wore? She wore. It was a night wedding, and it was a winter wedding, and she got married in like a navy dress. And yeah, was, and she had very fair skin and blonde hair. Oh, and it was that'd be pretty. It depends on I, when you get married. And what I think time of year? You really have to curate that kind of stuff. You can't just say I'm gonna because if you get married married in black, you can do that. Yeah. Well, you can't have an afternoon wedding. Exactly. You have to make your dress fit into the venue, the time of year. Yes. The we're off on a gay tangent. Yeah. We need to get, but yeah. And it's like when people buy their dresses way in advance and say, "Oh, I'll just make this work." Yeah. Like poor Ala, who didn't get to have her beach wedding. Yeah. Uh, she, you know, she bought her dress and, and even, even babe, jazz babe was like, well, that's not good for a beach wedding. Nice day for a beach, beach wedding. wedding. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I've had people book cameos and because with cameo, you can send a video or a picture and they'll book a cameo and send me a video of them wearing their wedding dress. And they ask what I think wow. about it. I love those. No one, I, no I'm one honest. sends me those. It's all, I'm honest. Most people who. A lot of cameos are, I just broke up with my boyfriend. Tell me what to do. I told one person, I said, <laughs> that color is not you. <gasps> Did you? Yes. Interesting. It's your wedding. I want you to look your best. So she hadn't bought it yet, you're saying? No, 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 okay. no. If you bought the dress, I would do what I could. <laughs> do what I could. Uh, um, anyway, so they found, they find that dress. They, she's like, and I like to when Elena says, if I cared about tradition, I would not be here with Stephen in fucking Turkey. Enneagram four. Yeah. And so she's FaceTiming with her mom, who she hasn't seen in two months. Ooh, and this is rough. And I tell I will say, you mom realized, I think, some someone told her, Remember, let's put on a nice face for this. So this. she kinda got a glow up. Yeah, her mom looks she looks she looks really cute. Um, and she's like she so she says, Well, mom, I'm getting married in twenty four hours and mom said well, that's not well thought out. <laughs> now, I will say, and I know when you're doing something against what you're what you think your kid should do, it's. I I I I don't think the mom should know by now with someone like Alina that you're not going to be able to convince her. Yeah, I just I think 
the best thing you're in to Russia, do, they're in Turkey. What are you gonna do? The best thing to do here would have been like, well, you know, I don't necessarily support this. I wasn't a fan of his on the way there, but you know, you're my daughter. I love you. I will support you. I will do whatever I can do. We'll definitely have a party for you here when you're here. Yeah, she didn't say that. No. Did say that. It was like... Now, she doesn't say, like, I won't... I'm gonna, like, not talk to you. But she just no. says... She's like, marriage is supposed to be celebrated with your friends and family. And Lee's like, I know, it's not gonna be the same, but we can set up kind of sit video. And then mom says, okay. Well, just remember, he will cheat and lie to you. Because that's what he's done. <laughs> Which commandments is he gonna break tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. And, by the way, he's gonna cheat and lie to you for the rest of your life. Life, life, and, life. And I, I get she it. She actually said that. And I get it that this feels 11th 11, 11 hour for her. So I think she's but, trying to do anything, but come on, you're not. This is, I don't think this is the way to do it to, I just, I know that Alina's, <sighs> Alina mom she knows Alina well better. But than Alina this. validates her and she says, I know it worries me, but what can I do? And her mom says, Leave. Come back come back to Russia. She's like, But I forgave him and I think he will change. And I after even that, I would have said, Okay. And mom just said, We worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Poodle said that many, many of times. times. <sighs> Jay Bird, we worry. Just we just worry. Oh man. Oh Matthew, I just worry. <laughs> Um, didn't eat, couldn't even eat that extra taco from El Limone. <laughs> Is that your mother? Yes, <laughs> El Limone. I left my enchiladas halfway there, Matthew. Um, that's it for them. That's it Should for them. Take a quick break. Let's take a quick break. Come back. Hello. <laughs> Don't Hello. start like that. It's weird. Oh no, I was just saying hi to Christina. Oh, okay. We're back. Hello. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I just He said he didn't like it when I start that way. Um, Hello, everyone. Yo. Welcome back to the show. I'm just sitting here with my smooth legs crossed, rubbing my legs, just feeling my sensuality. Ooh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> You're, please don't break my couch. I'm not. I'm just trying to get comfortable. You just hit my pillow. <laughs> it was in my way. <laughs> Yo, Yo we're back. <laughs> it's Avi's birthday. God, this baby. <laughs> it's a cute, cute baby. It's a really cute baby. And the baby's charming too. The baby not, rides a camel. I would not, go. not once have I'm sure the baby has cried and the baby is can be fussy. But that baby performs for the camera, and I gotta he give does. that baby. He props. does. He does. Yeah. Well, it's in his blood. His father's a performer. That's true. And yep. so is his mother. <laughs> Just in a different Ooh, way. Just in a different way. Let's jump in. She's mostly when she's performing victimhood. True. Um, she's great at that. So um, is he one today or two? I guess he's one. I think, I think he's, he's one, one year old. Yeah. So he's one, and her mom left a few weeks ago, and she's like, my mom and her. And they're still me. in Kenya. Yeah, because in Kenya. As you know, I, I'm way too embarrassed to go back I'm to so Ethiopia to show my face. <laughs> and the mom said, we used to get a flashback of when they took Janice to the airport. And the mom said, which is true, she said, you know, I think with the abandonment issues that Biniam has, when you left, he just went out of control. He really, I think, and this is true, you could tell by how sad Biniam was. Not that it's an excuse for his behavior, but I don't think he thought she was ever coming back. Yeah. I think he thought this is a done deal. And that's just what he thought. But she, Janice said, now he's acting better. I'm going to be more open and give him an honor time. <laughs> um, so, y'all, they're going on a camel ride. And I would love to go on a camel ride. Oh, I would do, yeah. That's not a euphemism for sex. No, no, I would do that. That'd be fun. Hey! Hey, Asin! <laughs> Hey, no. hey, 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 as look, look at me. Look, look at me. <laughs> as in, look at me when you're on the camel, as in, look at me. Oh, my head's getting heavy again. <laughs> Y'all, a little Nicole and as in for you. Uh, so they're having, and later on, they're, they're on the camel. Everything's fun. They're having this little party, mm -hmm. and it's just them. And just them. Ari's saying things like, I feel like 
your behavior changed dramatically when I went back. And I agree that did happen. And I, but I feel like, do you feel like this is a rehash conversation for the cameras? Yes. That's what it felt yeah. like to me. Um, it's like you, as, as Benny Mari said, he was really happy Janice came and they already had a conversation with her and he felt like she's a good mother yeah. and they, and that she helped kind of negotiate. Janice fixed their marriage. Again. Janice fixed their marriage. Um, I wonder if she could fix some of your, uh, <laughs> let's just say when I'm here at your house and someone starts banging on the door saying, you stole my husband <laughs> and you make me hide in the back closet. They go away after a little bit. Yeah, it's 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 not fun. Um. So, and of course, Ari says forgiveness is a process, and it's interesting, y'all. Benny admits, or he he basically admits, it was all my fault. He said, and, and yeah. this is how you have to handle Ari. It sadly, is. it is. So he is. You can actually you can honestly see him way. Can you set the timer? It's still not set. Oh yeah, you yeah, fucked yeah. it up. I just, you had I, one job. I did. <laughs> oh, the timer's done. Timer's done. <laughs> ah! One job. That well, is your one job. It's going to be an extra long show. Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> so, he, y'all, we have to set a timer because otherwise we just take forever. And I just, I won't allow Oklahoma stories oh, yeah. after minute yeah, 20. Yeah, it's me. It's me. It's not a rant about the difference of using, I don't know, we and were. This or sense. were and we are. Again, doesn't make sense. Whatever. There's a big difference between we're and were. Same to me. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oinky will always excel at grammar. Yeah, that was 30 seconds we're not going to get back, see? You brought it up! <laughs> I want to hit you. I want to hit you. I want to hit you. <laughs> That was loud. It was if, loud. If you're, if you're not on it the, was violent. If you're not, <laughs> if you had to watch that on intimate portrait, I'm okay. And my eyes turned green. I know. Ah! Yeah, yes, it's true. Now I'm hot. Um, so she uh, again. He admits everything, and he admits that it was it was his fault. And now, what I she's of course going to push for more because oh. with Ari. You're never going to get that. So she says, and he says, I'm not going to say moving the goalpost. It's been a good thing that you've said. I mean, I've heard that, but like, I'm, I see that now and I'm seeing that actually in some of my uh, relationships. It is a feature of manipulative relationships. It really is of moving the goalpost. It is. If, if they can get you to do one thing, you guys, and give up something without compromise, then suddenly you give up a little bit here. You give up a little bit here, yep. and then you've given up so much you don't know who you are, and you're scared yep. to go back. Yep, and you back. wake up one day and you go, <laughs> and then, <laughs> boy, talk about, talk about moving the goalposts. I don't goal know posts. if I go back to America. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Sumit, master of Sumit moving the goalposts. Really, the master of that. Anyway, so, that's been a good thing for me. Appreciate so, it. Moving the goalposts. So she says, well. And we go, we can never go back to Ethiopia and our tourist visas are going to expire here. And if we go back to Ethiopia, our relationship will be over. Because, as she says, it's not necessarily the fact that she's worried about him getting back with old influences. No, it's 100% about her. It's 100% about her. 100% about her. About her. Shame. I and think this is a bullshit excuse, and it's shitty, and it's just her finally getting him to come to yeah. America. Yep. That's all it Y'all, is. we called this from minute one of seeing this couple. If Ari really cared so much about not being embarrassed about and, and worried about what people thought of her... She wouldn't be on a fucking television show that millions you. of people watch every Louder fucking Louder for the week. people in the back. She wouldn't be in a fucking Benny, a music video. She wouldn't be putting herself out there in all these media things. That shame stuff, y'all, is garbage. She doesn't now, she, give a fuck about might, what his she sister's She might think. have, but you know what? Mm. He understands that. That he, is because, something that he understands because cause it's cultural he, for him. Shame is a big thing for him. Mm-hmm. And definitely makes his decisions now, of what to do or not. I'm not saying she probably wouldn't be slightly offended. You guys, Ari hasn't given a shit what Benyam's sisters have no. thought about her the whole time. No. 
she's walking through there in a traditional Ethiopian thing with Heidi braids. Yeah. She doesn't give a shit what people say about her. No. But this is the ticket to get to the U.S. Because as her sister said, you've done your little thing in Ethiopia. Done your you've little had thing. your little baby. It's time to come home. And honestly, I bet behind the cameras, she's convinced Biniam that he can be more of an influencer totally. if he's in totally. the U.S. This, from episode one of, of, of her and season. And she's probably said, our parents will pay for everything. Amen. And so... Um, then you can do whatever you want. So, and but th- but this excuse about I can't even go back to Ethiopia. This is a red herring. Agreed. Uh, that it's yep. and I and I wrote down Ethiopia is a place. You guys, yes, places are emotional. You can have that, but this is someone who says my entire family is there. Can you get past some? So you can't shame? go to an entire country. That's right. So you can't, like, move to a city adjacent? Everyone knows you are using our house as a brothel. You can't move <laughs> to a different part of town? That's true. It's like, y'all, if you live in L.A., look, let's just be real here. <laughs> I had to... I had Why to, do you I, think Poodle I've moved, moved? I've moved several times for because good reasons. he fucked everyone in the neighborhood. <laughs> And they all know about it. So then you move. And you know what? Greener pastures. And when he's fucked most of like of a proper like greater L.A. It's like highway to heaven. I yeah. just move on. You'll, he'll move to Los Feliz. <laughs> I'll be like Michael Landon yeah. and just walk just off walk to out. be the next person. <laughs> Golly. Remember how hot Michael Landon oh. was? God. His gay son's cute, a sissy, too. A sissy does a whole podcast about Lo Oh, Lo yeah. Berry. Oh, yes. What sissy is that? I forget the name. I don't know. We're bad at pimping it out. But there, yeah. Google Little House of the Prairie She's podcast. She's going to come at us now. But yeah. I think it's hot. Amy. Well, I, didn't I want you to date sissy his gay Amy. son? I think it is Amy. Didn't I want you to date his gay son? Wasn't that like a- I've never seen his gay son. Oh, he's- I get like y'all because I, I, I couldn't do it at the time. I was single. Now I'm with somebody. But I always- I try to pimp Poodle out to like you gay celebrities. You did with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because- Poodle has a little less morals than I do, but he still has enough. They that kick is in. not true. They kick no, you're in. right. They That's kick true. in. Forever, I wanted him to date Michael Uri. Yep, and that would never and work. And then he did theater and wasn't great at it. No. And Poodle can't watch no, it. No, it's not that. I, <laughs> oh, no. I fucked around with his now husband. <laughs> you know, I told you that. <sighs> I forgot about that. <laughs> This is why your family actually All read. gay men are sluts. We're I'm all just, I'm hard to I'm sad to tell you. But Michael Landon, if you're single, Michael Landon's son. Yeah. If you're single and Michael Landon's dead. Because he's got a lot of money. They play Little House really? on the Prairie on the O network or, or TikTok me I'll or whatever. Spend that Little House on the Prairie, that that L H O P money. We need to move on. We're at Denny's. I'm like, this comes from <laughs> LHOP. <laughs> and they go, sir, are you going to pay the check or what? You'll pay the check. It's just $20. Uh, you had two moons I over my hand. I need a handy. comp for my bonnet. <laughs> so anyway, this excuse is bullshit. It is. This is just about going to the U.S. Yep. Um, Sissy Adara, let's talk about this. Our what? senior Ethiopian correspondent. Oh. <laughs> this is the Sissy Squad. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, I'm, I'm sure shame is a thing. I'm sure it is very powerful. I would just like to say that this is the first time Ari's seem to have any shame. Exactly. Um, exactly. So, anyway. And anyway. she didn't discover it till she went to America. Exactly. This s- sudden shame. Yeah. Anyway. And I wrote... This is this is about her, and also this is a punishment. Totally, it's a total punishment that he's going to have to. So because she knows he already lost one child, and also maybe maybe he wants to do this because he th- thinks he can see his other son. Yeah, because that's where his son lives. Is in and I think Avi's the son's brother. in Utah. Well, it's, yeah. a, it's easier to have a four-hour flight. True. Yeah, and. So they're going to do a video call. But, yeah, Benny agrees, though. He yeah. agrees to go And he do does it. say, I really wish we could go back and forth. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. 
You think Ari's going to let you go to Ethiopia by yourself? Nope. And you think she's going to go there? Nope. To see these people who have disgraced her. Yeah. She ain't going to Ethiopia no mo. No yeah. mo. What is she, that sad line from Sing 2 who can't go out and <laughs> sing anymore? Come what? on. <laughs> oh, I will not have to talk about Sing 2 it's bad. on this podcast. I saw a trailer, and you're going to have to watch it, and it looks horrible. Like, they did one of the trailers Ooh. where you saw the whole movie. In fact, I need to text your brother and say, Jake's Don't really excited to no, see No, they've, they've, already, they've already told my <laughs> niece and nephews <laughs> that I'm going to take them to see fucking Sing 2. I'll be listening to a murder podcast while they're, uh, <coughs> while they're watching hey, it. Hey, we should do... I'm going to get this right. Speaking of our good friends, Kim and Kyle at Cray Cray. Yes. They've launched. The D-Sides. The D-Sides. And what is the D-Sides? I like it. That was hard for you to remember. <laughs> it was hard for me to remember. <laughs> it's their yep. new, it's their new uh, documentary podcast. It's just, yes, they're covering like. The first the, one was Brittany Murphy, I believe. Exactly. So y'all, you can go to, it's a whole different. I've, for I've listened to the first 20 minutes already. I haven't it's listened. Fantastic. Oh. Good job, guys. I bet they're, oh, did they, oh, I didn't know they covered The Way Down on their premium podcast, too. Yeah. I would listen to I love, if you don't listen to Kim and Kyle on Night Day Cray Cray, it's a different show than us, obviously. Yeah. And there's less dick talk, although it's not absent. There's more facts. <laughs> there's a lot more facts. A lot more facts. And there's, a, there's two people who are very thoughtful and discerning, besides us just coming and talking about Michael Landon's case. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kyle does uh, get a little drunk on whiskey sometimes That's and talk true. about dick stuff. And y'all, we've seen him in person. Ooh, y'all. He is hot. Yum. Ooh. Anyway. And Kim, as I'm sure, is pretty. We've just never seen we've her. We've never in seen person. her. She's more private. Anyway, y'all, check him out. Check him out. So, um, so they're talking, they're doing the video chat with this the lawyer. This immigration lawyer is very young. And I noticed that too. So Jessica, and they say, guess what? Your promise is, your promise, your process is moving along really well. And you have an interview in 19 days. And she wait. goes, Ugh. wait, so, and they weren't caught up on this and they just happened to come on. It feels this fake. is the last, the last three episodes for them. No, the last two, I'm sorry, have felt super massaged. It's just, if I feel like it's like, what, what plot points can we create to get, to show that ever you since she's been back in Ethiopia? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, so, they are the lawyer says you can't go in there with him because of COVID, but you need you need Beanie, you need to say that she's out there waiting for I you. have heard that that's way way better and more helpful yeah. than just saying like She wasn't here, blah blah blah. What Poodle didn't that's why he didn't pass his interviews. Poodle, where's your husband? He's on sabbatical in Rome. <laughs> I don't uh, know. We haven't checked up on each other for weeks. On, yes. Uh, he's uh, mountain climbing in Everest. Hope he makes it. <laughs> Sign there. The lo- life insurance is up to date. Yes. <laughs> we checked. Um, so they, uh, the, they're 19 days, and she's like, that's really soon. And they, so they, have, but they have to go back. They both have to go back to Ethiopia. Yeah. And, she's, and y'all, she's just like, but she said, "I am. The, I don't want to go to Ethiopia ever again." So we'll and see. And she next has week. to go back right away because they have to be there for fourteen days. Oh, because, because of, of quarantine, they have to. Can, they can't fly out of the country until they've quarantined <sighs> yep. for fourteen. And days. I wrote again, Ethiopia is a place, honey. It can't hurt you. You're going to be in your house. You don't have to go out. Guess what? If you don't ask people or you don't see people, you don't know what they think of you. Or I mean, and as we say, it's none of your business what other people think of you. And you haven't cared the entire time. Yeah, but if the if the, if the wish and the other sister want to go see Avi, but okay. they but they're the Benny ones who've can, been they're the ones who've been on her side. That's what's weird to me. That's what it's doesn't weird. make sense. If the sisters and other people are texting her about Benny, why wouldn't you want to see them? The whole thing. And she's like, all of my friends and everybody I know in Otis is going to judge me and brought shame to and me. And also, wouldn't you want if you're... I've never met any of your, your friends. If your child is leaving to go to America, wouldn't you want his aunts and family member? To she's way too him? selfish for that. Golly. She's way too selfish for that. Anyway. All right. Let's move on let's to... Let's talk about a turnaround I did not expect. Let's move on to... I still think it's 90 Day DOA. But still, I'm like, what the hell? Well, this was not. 
I think these two people are so desperate to find a little light. It's, in... This is like like the sequel to Leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder, didn't he die of drinking himself to death? And what happened to her? Well, maybe Elizabeth Shue does have very curly hair. Maybe it's just Ellie reincarnated. <laughs> um. God, that movie was sad. It was. It was. Uh, anyway, y'all. So Ellie and Victor, y'all, they're still fighting. This is the night of the fight. And the producer is even like, do y'all want to talk this out? And Victor said, well, maybe she can add up all the money she's given me and I can just pay her back and this is done with. Yep. And she's like, and he's like, if you sent me more money, maybe I'd have a bike or a car. Yeah. And she's like, you have a complex about that <laughs> that's a good ellie <laughs> you have a complex and uh, victor's like no you have one and so it he's like she's been acting psycho this is a total this the fight they're having it's like a normal fight that normal couples have and i mean it's a bad fight but it's normal to me in that there a a lot of people fight about money but it's a total and they kind of figure this out later but it is just they aren't listening to one another no. at all. And They're talking they, over one another. They could not be two more different people. They and are. They that's haven't, true. They haven't made the effort to reach out to even get on the same page. It's she true. Says, she says things all the time like, I don't know how to help you. I don't know. You know how to, and I think a and lot he of, doesn't know how to communicate. He doesn't know how to com- communicate. Now, do I think that they have shared values, which is ultimately the most important thing? Some, I do. But I also think this is a little bit jumping ahead. See, I think she just nods her head. To but all I, th- of that. I think she wants to have the yep. values he has. Amen. So I think Ellie wants to. What I kind of learned from this, I went, ah, Ellie wants to reinvent herself. Yep. She wants to start. She's probably <clears throat> she wants to get her groove back. Ellie doesn't seem like someone who likes stress. It probably has been. I know from my brother, it's very st- stressful running a restaurant, a successful restaurant. She probably wants to leave all that behind and just have her like island dream. Yeah. As as she said later on, and every day we just kind of chill. I don't think she I don't think she spent her whole life living in actual reality. No. I think I think the the restaurant and her business has been the most grounding thing possible. Mm-hmm. But still, if you if you live in Seattle, especially that that little, even that little house she has, mm-hmm. she kind of lives without really thinking what's going to happen next. If you do have a restaurant business, you guys, it is it is you are always it's all caught. Con- it's it always consuming. all consuming, especially if you're always there. So her life is the restaurant. Mm-hmm. There's no other. There's no other way to have a goal to work towards. No. Um, and this was a way out of it, but it's still not reality. Yeah. And I think reality has hit home for her when she looked around on Providencia and went, oh, fuck, I'm here. Yeah. This in, is in, in, in the, I think, disaster. Again, I don't think this would have, in a way, I think this hurricane, <clears throat> if they come out through this, is potentially a blessing because it'll make Ellie decide if she really wants this or not. Yeah. Because if this hurricane would have happened, I think they would have gone along and then Victor would have wanted kids and they either would have had kids or not. And real life would have hit in and Ellie would have been out later on. Yep. Um, so she basically says, I want to magically not be here anymore. Again, she's not living in, and reality. that's if I don't think that's really about him. That is, she, yes, she does not like dealing with real world nope. things. It's that, really hard. I'm for telling her. you, it's weird. Even when someone, when when I was working in a restaurant, it isn't reality. You have your own. You're 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 doing so many things mm-hmm. that that it feels like the the up and downs are its own excitement. I just kind of had this farcical uh, Im- uh, image in my head of someone showing up that you're dating to <laughs> that's getting waited on and you're trying uh, and you're nervous because they're being served by the waiter that you're fucking. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> and I'm shocked it had not. I'm shocked it had not. Yeah. But I just imagine this balancing act. No, well. I would never allow someone I was dating to come to my restaurant because... This would have happened. They they couldn't see me that way. Oh, okay. 
Unless it was planned and you had the outfit on. Yes. Want some more, please? Um. Anyway. So, but I agree. <clears throat> this it, it's so Ellie kind of she wants to escape, and Victor is like, but Victor, I will say, Victor is just stupidly defensive. Yeah. Like really, def- you can't. And in Ellie's defense, she can't talk to him when he's in this state. Like whatever he and the says, thing is, he's just like you don't understand. You don't understand. That's not going away. No, that's not going to. I know it's. She feels like he's wrapped in pain right now. He's in a hurricane this, of pain. But this is <laughs> too soon. But this is how he deals. This is how with he deals. Stress. This is how he deals with stress. So he's got a really fucking because honestly, this it was the wrong time. But the stuff with <clears throat> Ellie was saying about money was not irrational. No, it was very much like. She wants to create safety. I think if they both had a conversation and and talked about once, and Ellie would say, I want to be able to take care of you and take care of me and have us be safe. Yeah. And Victor would say, I want us to have a home and feel safe in our home, and we can have children. And for, they both well, want this, but their community is but very differently. The other is each one of them is so worried about what the other is wanting and not to piss off the other yes. because it's this tenuous relationship. they don't know each other. They don't know each other. It's like when Ellie said, we usually don't have fights like this. That's because you pro- you've never lived in the same place. And you probably just spend your time Sorry, that when, you're, when you're with each other fucking and <clears throat> eating and... <clears throat> don't ever do that again and don't ever move your pelvis like that ever again. Ooh. Um, but I also think that I don't think Vic, Victor for me doesn't have much propensity for change. No, I don't he see that. He seems he's st- he's set in his ways. He has lived on that island all his life. Yeah. That I just even though it's all like oh, it's whatever. Y'all see that whole island life, that's don't talk about anything. Yeah. But it's also no, really. Let's so, not talk about anything. The Let's only, keep it underneath. The only way they could survive, and I've, I said this three or four episodes ago, is if he comes to the U.S. But I don't think Ellie wants that. I don't think she wants the stress and the real world problems of the U.S. I, I think she wanted to go to <laughs> – I'm telling you, y'all, this was filmed – for 90 Day Fiance Caribbean Love. And then they you think realized, so? And it was too good, and they put it on the main show. It's interesting. It's too good. But too, like, it's... It's, it's, it's heavy. With, it's heavy with what happened to him. It, it draws you in. Hmm. I but wonder if this was filmed for that. I think it was... She, I think it's... Um, the fact that we don't have it... We don't have a producer from 90 Day Fiance on speed dial right now is... Pretty, I don't. I don't think they tell us common. stuff like that. They won't. They'll, they yeah. won't tell us anything. Um, anyway, the next day, you guys, they're packing up. They're going to go back to um, San Andreas. Yes. And and she says, uh, she's like looking around. This island is like a metaphor for our relationship. Destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> um, so he's like, you want to take a walk on the beach? They haven't really spoken. And she says, part of me wants wants to work on it but if he's not willing to apologize for what happened last night i'm not into it yeah and so victor says i want this to work um i really care a lot for you and then they get to where they're talking and ellie's like i did not mean to make you feel bad i'm sorry and victor said i'm it hurts me when you think i'm with you just for your money and they seem to have a little bit of detente she never said that but she did kind of passively aggressive, yeah. She ba- she does needle him. That's, the, it, that's it's the all there. She, it's all there. Yeah, it is all there. Yeah. And she kind of does nag him like a child. She nags him, and then she when she, he doesn't get her point or <clears throat> disagrees with her, she shames him for yep. his yeah. Um, and he's and he's not helping because he shuts down and not communicative at all. Yeah. So he says, um, uh. It's like I, he said, I promise to never be like that again. That's never going to happen. That's no, just how he that's gets. That's just how he is. If you can't really change, um, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. I think if he was to go someplace like Seattle, he would have to adapt into a place. He would have to completely be out of his comfort zone, and he'd have to kind of rebuild. I don't think he's that bit. person, though. I agree. I don't think he wants to do it. And again, I don't think she wants to go to Seattle. 
She's running away from something. She's running away from responsibility. From she, that murdered husband. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, so that kind of ends with Ellie just says, I just think we're both really tired. And he's like, yeah. And then after that, he said, you know what? I'm tired, too. Give me a second. Then he walks around. Bitch gets a, a conch shell. A beautiful conch shell. And he said, I would give you a ring, <laughs> but that Category 5 hurricane <laughs> blew it away. I kind of screech <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> Do you think he had a ring? No. No. Y'all, there won't. He there didn't was, have a ring. Twasn't ever a ring. But anyway, he gets down on one knee and says, Put the conch shell to your ear and listen to my heart. <laughs> it's saying, marry me, marry me, marry me. Ba-boom. Um, and y'all, she says yes. And I know we should all feel happy at this point. No, because I no felt one. nothing. No one should ask someone else to get married. I felt the, nothing. The day after you have a huge fucking blowout Terrible fight, idea. Literally. Terrible idea. In one of Ellie's words, this is one of the worst fights we've ever had. Then the next day you get married. Red flag. Red flag. Let's end this shit. <laughs> That's all yeah, I got. It's so interesting. I feel like this was supposed to be seen. This was produced as a win for them. Yeah, they even had the drone shot. And... Like, of them sitting there in a beautiful tree, zoning out, and just... This is a metaphor. I think this might be the last time we see them. They're sitting in the middle of complete shit everywhere. Desolation, I, which is their relationship. I really do think there's only one episode left. Possibly. They possibly. did not say on the finale. There is felt like... They didn't say on the finale. Normally they do, don't they? That's why I'm thinking there might be two. But... Um, I don't know. But yeah, where do you go then from... Because they didn't show them next week. No. So I don't think we're going to see them. No. It's going to be Corey and Evelyn's wedding. Uh-huh. It's going to be Stephen and Alina. It's going to be Kenny and Armando. Uh-huh. And possibly someone might marry a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that next time, y'all. Until then, go on Apple Podcasts and leave a five-star please. review. It's been please. A long time since, it's been a long time since we asked, but we greatly appreciate it. Helps bump us up in the charts for people can see our show more. It means a lot to us, and we and nothing makes Poodle happier than a review. It's true. And uh, sex. And sex. <laughs> you can go on Cameo. Come at us on Cameo. Also, go to our Instagram, Reality Gaze Podcast, our Twitter, Reality Gaze Pod. We call these people Lonely Hearts Poods because aren't we all just Lonely Hearts looking for love in all the wrong places? Yes. And if you have a connection to Michael Landon's gay son. Yes. <laughs> yes. Call us! 